This video tutorial is going to demonstrate how to use a positional notation table and an abacus to convert back and forth between base 10, what we call decimal, and some other base. Uh, now this can be used to do uh, conversions back and forth between any base. Uh, this example is using base 5, um, but you can use it for whatever base you've been assigned. The first step in using a positional notation table is to draw out the table and then fill in the columns at the top, uh, the values of the columns. Uh, I've got a form that does most of this for you. So for this particular example, uh, we're supposed to use base 5, base n here, n is 5. Uh, this particular form fills in the base values and then your task is to just go through and compute what the base to the different powers are. So 5 to the 0, 5 to the 1, uh, 5 to the negative 1. Uh, so use a calculator for this if you can't do it in your head. Uh, anything to the 0 is 1. Uh, the column to the left of the point is always worth 1. Uh, the next column over 5 to the first power. Uh, anything to the first power is just itself. So the next column over uh, to the left is always worth just whatever the base is. And then every time you go one column to the left, you're multiplying by the base again. So this is 5 squared, or 5 times 5, 25. I can do that one in my head. Um, 5 to the third, or 25 times 5 is 125. To the right of the point, uh, this is 5 to the negative 1. Again, use a calculator if you want. Uh, this is the same thing as 1 over 5. Uh, you can look at this column to the left of the 1's column and then just divide that into 1. So this is 1 fifth. You can put that in decimal if you like as well. Uh, the next column over, uh, every time you go to the right, you're dividing by 5. So this is 1 25th. It's the same as uh, 1 over this third column uh, from the decimal to the left. So my table is all filled out. I'm ready to start putting digits in here. The only digits that are allowed on these lines are anything less than the base, um, 0 through 4 in this particular example. So my positional notation table is built. I'm ready to use it. I'm now going to use a base 5 positional notation table to convert a base 5 number into decimal, or base 10. Uh, the particular number I'm using is 413.2. Notice I'm just reading the digits because this is not a base 10 number. This is not 413.2. This is a base 5 number. Um, all these digits are legitimate digits because they're between 0 and 4. Those are legitimate base 5 digits. So I'm going to switch over to the form and use it to solve this particular problem. Um, here's my base, and here's the number I'm trying to convert from base 5. Uh, just following the instructions, we'll, we'll walk you through this. Um, the first task is to fill in the table, which we've already talked about up here at the top. Uh, this will autofill some of these values down on the bottom as well, so that, that's expected. Now, I'm supposed to write the digits of 413.2 in these spaces, one digit per space lining up the, the point. So there's a 4 there, 1 there, 3 there, and a 2 there. And again, this autofills down in here. Step 3 is go down the columns uh, starting here. This column's digit, well, it has no digit in it. There's nothing there. So there's nothing to do for this column. So we'll just skip over to the next column. Uh, this column's digit is 4. Multiply by this column's value, which is 25, equals, that's 100. Do it on the calculator if you like. Go to the next column. This column's digit is 1. Multiply by this column's value, which is 5, equals 5. 1 times 5. Uh, next column, this column's digit is 3. Times the column value 1, that's 3. This digit is 2. Multiply by this column's value, that's a fifth, so that's two fifths. And if you had more digits, you would just continue to the right or to the left, filling those in. When you're done with that, you just go across the bottom here and add up these numbers. 100 plus 5 plus 3 is 108 and two fifths, or 108.4. So the number 413 in base, so 413.2 in base. 5 could also be written as 108.4. This is now base 10 language, so I can use that, that terminology. 
Let's use a base 5 abacus to do the same task as the previous problem, uh, converting a base 5 number of 413.2 into base 10. So I have that abacus pulled up. It's a base 5 abacus. Here are the possible digits, possible number of beads on each wire. And all I do is I express the number of beads on each wire that my number had gave me. So I believe it was 413.2. Um, 413.2. So I'm going to start over here in this third column and make four beads on it. Second column had a one in it, so that's one bead. Uh, third column has three in it. And the decimal column has two in it. So here's my number, my base five number, 413.2. Uh, this abacus does the math for you. Four beads of 25 is 100. One bead worth five each is five. Three beads worth one each is three etc. Uh, the number is done right down here. So there's the decimal notation value for the number 413.2 in base 5. Same answer as before. Now I'm going to use a base 5 positional notation table to convert the other direction. Uh, this is a little trickier uh, going from decimal or base 10, uh, the number 197 into base 5. So similar kind of setup uh, I've got a form here that is already built with the base 5 information in it. I'm going to be converting the number 197, which is base 10 language. Um, in this case, we don't know the digits that go on these lines. If you're going the other direction, you have the digits, but here we don't know them, so we're trying to figure those out. Uh, I'm going to use a calculator in some of these cases to, to figure things out, but essentially you need to start as far left as you can go that's not too big uh, for the number you're converting from. So as I go to the left here, uh, the next column over would be 625. Uh, it's 5 to the 4th. But that's way bigger than my number I'm trying to convert, so I don't need that column. 125 is less than my number I'm converting from, so I'm going to start in this, in this leftmost column here, 125. I ask myself, how many 125s go into my number? How many 125s go into 197? Well, that's pretty easy. It's 1. I can see that do that in my head. Um, what is the remainder after I take out 125 from 97? Well, I, I don't want to do that in my head. I'll just subtract it here. 125. 72. My remainder is 72. So uh, I've got a 1 in this column. That's one side of 125. That's 125. The remainder is 72. So I'm done with that column. I'm ready to go to the next column, the 25s column. I now need to figure out how many 25s go into my remainder of 72. Uh, I, this is the column that's worth 25 each, so how many times does 25, uh, oops, messed that up, how many times does uh, 25 go into 72? A couple times, okay? So 72, uh, 2 times 25, is 50. And I'm done with that column. Uh, what is the remainder now? Well, I've taken out in my 72, I took out 25 twice. Oops, messed that up again. Uh, 72. There's one of the 25s. There's another one of the 25s. I can't take any more 25s out of that. That's the two that I picked. Remainder of 22. So I'm done with this column. I move to the next column, which is the fives column. I ask myself, how many fives go into my remainder? So 22. Um, I can do this in my head. Uh, this is four. Four fives is 20. 20. Okay, so I take out four of the fives. Minus five, minus five, minus five. Minus 5. There's the 4 25s I've taken out. Remainder of 2. I'm now done with this column. I go to the next column, the 1s column, and I ask, in my remainder, how many 1s go into 2? Again, easy to do in my head. Two of those. So that's 2. Uh, I'm done. Uh, there are no fractions in the number 197. But if I did have fractions, I would just continue this process over. I now check to make sure this works. 125 plus 50 plus 20 plus 2 is 197. 
and there's my number, base 10 number that I was converting from. The number I'm looking for, the answer I'm looking for is right here, 1, 2, 4, 2. So the base 5 number 1, 2, 4, 2 is equivalent to 197 in base 10. Using an abacus to convert from base 10 to some other base is actually a pretty easy task. Uh, we're going to use the base 5 abacus to convert the same number, 197, uh, which is a decimal number, to base 5, uh, like the previous problem. Um, but we're going to use the abacus, which makes the job pretty easy. Uh, if your abacus is, is not cleared off, you can hit the clear button to clear it off. Uh, same type of task here. The number is 197. I'm trying to, trying to make. Uh, I just put beads on here and I'm looking at my decimal conversion down here. Um, one bead on the 125's wire in base 5 is 1000, but in decimal form that's one bead uh, worth 125 each. And you can see that if I put too many beads there, I exceed the number I'm trying to convert to uh, from. 197 is what I'm trying to convert from. So uh, I can't put two beads there, that's too big. I just add beads over here until I get just short of uh, the number that I'm trying to convert from. That's too big, so take that one off. Uh, go to the next column, add beads. Uh, that's not bigger than what I'm trying to convert from. So 195 is less than 197. Add ones until I get up to 197. So there I'm done. Uh, the, the number in base 5 is 1242. Two. Uh, that's equivalent to 197 in base 10. So there's the abacus being used to do that same conversion.